All right, so for today, we're gonna be doing the curly mullet look on Grant. We're just gonna be cutting everything symmetrically to his face shape, complementing the face shape from the front, the profile from the side, and also the shape in the back. I'm gonna be laying down the foundation first using scissor work, leading into clipper work to finish off the canvas. And you guys are gonna be able to see my process of how I come from this look of super overgrown out curls into more of a nice, tamed down look where the curls are just sitting and the curly mullet is just kind of more enhanced with a little taper on the sides. I'm going to be showing you guys a little bit of styling tips at the end as well so feel free to stay around until the end of the video to see how I accomplish this look and let's go ahead and get started. Alright so first thing we're going to do is we're going to separate the back and the front profile. So how are we gonna find that? We're just gonna find where the crown likes to round, which we will call the radial section. And we're just gonna isolate the back and the front. So from here, we just wanna create that radial section right down. And we wanna just separate that out. And we're just gonna disconnect the back from the sides here. Now we're just gonna create one more section before starting to cut the hair. And that's gonna be on the side profile here, the parietal ridge. And we're gonna find where the parietal ridge likes to round from the top. So from the top, we're just gonna see where that rounds into the parietal ridge. And we're just gonna create that section and section it off into a nice square box. And we're just gonna section that off. Just like so. Still leading into our first guide. Nice and straight right down the middle. And we're just gonna separate those hairs out. Okay, so once you have that guide down the middle there, we're just gonna separate these hairs so we could just focus on the cutting line in the middle. This is gonna be our guide for the entire central profile in the back. So this guide, how we cut it, will determine the entire shape throughout the back profile. So we wanna make sure we cut it into the correct shape and the correct length. Choice of length is everything. So remember that we always wanna remember the correct shape as well as the choice of length we choose to go with. Two inches of his hair off right there. Okay. Move down. Now, now we already have a guide set from the previous cutting line. So we just go in and follow that guide. We're just gonna follow through with our line all the way through. Right there. Grab that with the correct amount of tension. Pull, check your guide. There's the guide and we cut. Okay. Follow through with that line. Now the over direction, which is the pulling from right to left, the over direction is going back to the middle. So we're always gonna over direct back to its previous because we're cutting in a nice square line. Okay, there's the guide, cut. So we just finished both sides and as you can tell, the curls are sitting a lot better and the shape in the back is a lot more tamed down and it's not so poofed out. 
We removed a lot of the volume in the middle area here while maintaining most of its length. So everything is just sitting a lot nicer at this point. We're gonna be moving onto the sides and then the top. All right, so for our side profile here today, I'm gonna to be going in and blending in the sides into that taper line where that taper was previously set. Because right now it's disconnected, so when we style it, it's just gonna overlap the taper and not complement it. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna blend that in slowly by using a forward graduation method. So what we're gonna be doing is grabbing the first guide, almost splitting that first section into two. Okay, and what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna be grabbing that first section down and I'm gonna find my guide. Okay, now that's where we wanna blend it in. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut that right where the guide is. But since I want the front disconnected, I'm gonna slowly leave the front slightly longer. There's my guide. I'm gonna be slowly starting to disconnect the front. So notice how I'm going longer as I go forward. And as I move forward, I'm gonna be leaving all this nice and long. so that it goes from short to a longer length in the front, okay? Just like that. And we're gonna use our front length as our entire guide throughout the back. So what we're gonna do here is I'm gonna create a small section, just going nice and horizontally against the forehead line. And I'm just gonna be sectioning this front part off just so that we can work with the real central profile line in the front. Now, how are we gonna set our guide for this head up? We're gonna use our corners as our length. So we're just gonna use that corner length and I'm just gonna point cut into the front. Okay, same thing. I'm just gonna go with a nice round shape in the front because I don't want it to sit too square. I just want it to sit nice and round so it maintains the most volume. And then we got back here, we match that into our corner length. All right. So you just wanna find that length in the corner and just match it right through. So it's a nice U shape that we formed in the front here. Another guide straight down the middle. gonna section this side off nice and clean as well. That's the guide right there. There's my guide and we're gonna be cutting it nice and square. Okay. Make alright so now we're gonna go into our next section. be over directing this back to our previous to create that square shape from the front pull it up guide and 
side. Okay. Guide to the side. Yep, perfect. Find your guide into a nice square shape. Now we're going to repeat this until we reach the end and repeat it on the same thing on the... Now we're going to repeat these steps by over directing it back to its previous into that square line until we reach the end of the right profile and then we're going to move on to our left profile to finish off the front in order to finish off the top. All right, so our front profile here is done. Same with the sides and the back as well. I'm just gonna section off this back profile real quick. And from the middle, I'm gonna create a diagonal line straight down to the corner of the forehead. And I'm just going to grab all these hairs down to that guide. I'm just going to grab all of that and blend that right in. Guide, guide, okay. I'm just going to blend all that in. Okay, so now it's just more of a blended in silhouette with everything sitting nice and perfectly. Okay. Now what I'm gonna go ahead and do is I'm gonna repeat that on the other side and go in right to our fade. I'm gonna be hitting him with some Mason sea salt spray to give him a nice natural look. I'm going more for a wet style today so that um, the curls can just kind of sit naturally with the sea salt spray that we put in his hair. The reason why I'm going for a wet style is because we kind of want the curls to air dry naturally so that we can get the most natural formed curls possible. If we went in and completely dried his hair out, it would be more of a frizzy look and we kind of just want more of a natural look with the curls just sitting tight against the head. So we're just gonna go for a nice air dried look today with some sea salt spray. With my guard, no guard, completely open. One and a half closed. I'm going to be scooping into that shape. I'm going to be mostly using my corners to create this blend just because I don't want anything too high. Okay. Now I'm also just gonna, I'm just gonna finish it off with a little bit of some blade work. Head back. All right. Now we have our final look for our model Grant here today. Volume has been reduced on top and in the back. Length has been left nice and long. And in the front, it's just been slightly so that the bangs are not covering the eyes and it's rather just sitting right above the eyes. 
and the volume on top is sitting nice and even now and then the back as well is just sitting nice and flat to the head and everything is just cleaned up with a nice little taper complementing it. Now from the front profile here as well you can now see that the shape is sitting nice and tapered in so that it really brings out the facial structure a little bit more and it's not too overpowered by the curls on top. We can see that we left it nice and long in the back so you can really get that mullity effect. That transition from the back to the front profile as well is very smooth, um, leading that into the taper. I feel like this really complemented the mullity effect and just really brought out the shape and complemented the look that he was trying to achieve. The mullet in the back is just sitting really nicely as well. Um, it's not too heavy, but the curls are just all there, sitting in a nice square shape, uh, very symmetrical on both sides. And as you can tell, there's not much frizz, rather it's just nice and oily and curly. So that's the back profile for you there. All right, so that's our final look for our model grant here today. I hope you guys really enjoyed this tutorial, got some tricks and tips out of it. If you guys have any thoughts or questions on different looks or this current look as well, feel free to leave some comments down below. I'm gonna be posting a lot more tutorials like this. So be expected to see more content and long form videos of tutorials like this. Appreciate you guys.